Good morning, everyone. Sunday, February 7th. I have some very important uh, informational pieces for you, as well as some prayer requests uh, and other things. Uh, first of all, today we will have communion during, uh, well, not during, but following our regular worship service. Um, our worship service is at 1015. I hope you will join us uh, here on YouTube. Uh, but also, uh, at 11.15, we will, have, we will share in communion, in community, together uh, on Zoom. So all the invitations and links for the Zoom meeting have been sent out to our usual uh, suspects. Uh, all of the folks on our email list, I hope you received one. If you did not, uh, please let us know, and we will make sure to get you a link for next month. Um, which brings me to the next thing. Uh, we have passed Groundhog Day. All right. Why is that good news? Because Groundhog Day is halfway between uh, the beginning of winter and the beginning of spring. So we are more than halfway through winter. Yay. Uh, okay. Uh, but that also means that we are fast approaching the season of Lent. Our Lenten mailing has gone out this week. And included in that mailing, watch for it, don't throw it away, don't let it fall on the floor, included in that mailing is a small Ziploc bag full of ashes. Ashes you will need to join us for our Ash Wednesday service. We're going to have an online Ash Wednesday service in which you will put the ashes on your own forehead. You won't be exposed to other people. You won't be exposed to COVID. You won't have some pastor who's touched 50 other people touching your forehead. Uh, <clears throat> but the ashes are in that little Ziploc bag in your Lenten mailing. So don't lose them. Uh, we are hoping that the crisis that the post office was having uh, over Christmas is past, and that you will receive them in plenty of time for Ash Wednesday. However, we have a supply here at the church office. Uh, if for some reason your mail does not reach you, or if you're not on the mailing list, and you would like to have ashes so you can participate in the Ash Wednesday service, stop by the church office, and we will give you some. Easy enough. Okay, um, the next thing is, uh, with, a, with us moving towards spring, halfway there, uh, we are thinking about warmer weather. And when warmer weather comes, we, we can do our communion services in the parking lot again. So we're thinking. And, and so maybe, maybe March, March might be a little iffy in Ohio, uh, certainly by April, and, and by golly, I would really like to do uh, Easter in the parking lot if we can't be indoors by then. So, so keep those things in mind. There's hope for the future uh, as well. If you caught in the news, uh, Johnson & Johnson ha is very close to having approval for their vaccine. It's a single-shot vaccine instead of a double shot. It is the older technology um, with the dead virus in it, um, maybe not quite as effective as the, the two uh, vaccines that are currently being distributed, but it'll be a welcome addition to the arsenal uh, to get us uh, back uh, to, well, something approaching normal, I suppose. Uh, let's see. <clears throat> also, make sure you have your bulletin today uh, in, uh, as an attachment to the email that sent the bulletin. There should be a PDF file with the uh, communion liturgy in it. Make sure you have that uh, before you log into the Zoom meeting for communion. All right. Um, if not, come anyway, because you will probably remember, if you've been to church at all, you will probably remember most of that. Okay. Uh, last thing, and probably most important, our, our prayer requests for today. If the pages wouldn't stick together, 
And I gotta do it one-handed because I'm holding my phone with one hand. There we go. Uh, let's see, the first one is uh, Peg Williams. Hi, Peg. Uh, Peg is doing okay. Uh, she has, <coughs> Peg has had 10 radiation treatments. Uh, the, and she has the last one. Uh, let's see what day, this was Thursday. Said the last one's tomorrow, so that was Friday. So the last one's done, yay. Um, <coughs> also, so, so Peg is doing okay. So continue to pray for Peg. Uh, let's see, also Cynthia Carlin and Charlie Moneypenny uh, are home and getting back to normal. They're maybe not quite there yet, but, but continues prayers, continued prayers for Cynthia and for Charlie. Uh, they are out of quarantine. Good, that's good. Uh, hope you guys are feeling better. Let's see. Oh, and the last one is Ronald Knapp and Linda Kreps. Uh, not members, but at least one of them used to be a member. Uh, folks that many of you know, uh, Ronald Knapp, Linda Kreps, both died Saturday, uh, the January 30th. So prayers for their families. Let's see, that is everything I have this morning. That was a lot. You may want to rewind to start over and take notes or something. Uh, look forward to seeing you on the Zoom communion in a couple of hours. Have a great day. God bless.